Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator with the National Portrait Gallery and a full-time artist with JJ Galloway Studio. In today's open studio lesson, we're talking about word portraits. Now, word portraits are the combination of drawing portraiture and the power of the written word. This is also called mycography. Now, mycography is the art of creating an image with just letters and words not to be confused with typography, which is the arranging of typefaces and fonts. You kind of combine both of them in this lesson. This is definitely one of those lessons that can be taken as far as you want. It can be very simple, or you can make it very complex. We're gonna fall somewhere in the middle today. Okay, let's get started. The supplies you'll need for today's lesson are a pencil, an eraser, a plain piece of white paper, and a Sharpie. Now you'll first need to decide whose portrait you're going to create. It can be your own or someone you admire. Once you've selected the image, you'll need to print it out or tear it out of a magazine. Just make sure the image is large enough that it fills the paper. Now we need to get an outline of your sitter onto a fresh piece of paper. By the way, when I say sitter, I'm talking about the person in the portrait. The subject of a portrait is called the sitter, no matter if they're standing, sitting, laying down, they're still called the sitter. To transfer the image of your sitter onto a fresh piece of paper, flip the back of your sitter's paper over and cover it with pencil or chalk. After it's covered, flip it back over with chalk side down onto a fresh piece of paper. Now you'll need to trace the outline of your face. Include the eyes and the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth, the hairline, the neck, and maybe the shoulders. Avoid little tiny details like teeth and pieces of hair. Try to keep everything into whole shapes. Now take away your printout and you should see a copy of the image on the fresh piece of paper. You might need to retrace the outlines if you can't see them clearly. This is the contour drawing of your sitter or the outline. You'll need to fill the shapes in with words that describe your sitter. It might be helpful to first sit down and make a list of those words. So as you work, you could decide which words will fit best where. Now fill in the shapes with the words. Do it in pencil first to make sure everything fits and then outline it in Sharpie. Think about using different styles of lettering and warping some of the letters to fit into specific shapes. Once you are sure everything will fit, go ahead and outline it with Sharpie. Here's some samples of word portraits done by some open studio artists. Take a look at this amazing work done by contemporary artist Claudia Bison. This is a collection of word portraits of hospice patients. She's recorded all of their moving stories on her website, Thoughts in Passing. It's definitely worth checking out. This project makes a great classroom art lesson. If you're looking for more ideas on ways to include portraiture into your classroom, just go to our website and look under the menu option, Visit at Home. Click on Distance Learning scroll down to the Learning Labs collection. If you click on the Visit the Learning Lab tab, here you're going to find a whole bunch of lessons you can sort through. Thanks so much for joining us today. We would love to see what you came up with. If you wouldn't mind posting your word art portraits on your social media with the hashtag MyMPG, we can all check it out. Okay, we'll see you next time.